Hello everybody and welcome to Jeep Federation where today we're gonna basically kind of uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to install these fender delete kits for the JK and JKUs. Uh, we've had a few people that uh, had some questions. The installation is not that difficult but I think some people are just having issues with basically um, figuring out where all the pieces kind of mesh up. So only for the JK JKUs 2007 to 2018 make sure it's a JK and it's not a JL. Uh, because it will not fit on a JL. So, uh, to start it is what comes in uh, packaging. So, this is basically everything that you get for one side. Obviously, we'll provide both sides for you, but just for this video's sake, we're going to basically just take one side at a time. Um, so, what you see here first is the first and uh, front fender delete. Uh, now, this is the easiest to install and it's pretty simple. You will require to cut something, which is the bracket, the support bracket for the front fenders. Uh, to remove the uh, front fenders, there's going to be a lot of clips, which are all going to be in these holes. You don't have to drill anything. These holes already pre-exist for you. And uh, you just remove basically the original fender. You cut this supporting bracket here. And what we like to do is after we cut it is we just spray it so that way it doesn't rust. And then you will use insert nuts for the front and bolts and washers. And that's basically pretty simple. It's not that difficult. Just make sure you use a, um, uh, an insert nut tool to make your life easier. Some people like to do it the manual way with a ratchet and a wrench. But an insert tool, uh, insert nut tool is much, much better. And you can uh, get one for free, fairly cheap on Amazon or you can basically rent one from your local hardware store. Um, now when it comes to the hardware, this is basically everything that comes in this package. A combination of these four. Washers one size and two size bolts and the nut certs. The nut certs will be utilized on the front and also on the rear. So for the nut certs, this is the bolt that you will use for the front and also for installing the brackets for the rear. And then the thicker bolt essentially will be used to, uh, to install the fender delete kit itself onto the brackets for the rear in these holes right here. So when you install the uh, rear, once again, you will remove the original fender. The original fender will have a couple of bolts, which will be right back here. And the rest will be all clips. So you will remove those clips and you'll have to increase the size of those holes where the clips were to match the size of the nut cert. Don't make it too large, just basically for this nut cert to just barely slide in. So that way you can actually use a nut cert tool on that. And then, the way you actually insert these brackets are exactly as you see on the table right here. So this piece right here will go on the back side. This piece right here, just as you see it on the table, will go on the front side. And then this piece right here will go right on top of these two pieces. And let me show you how that kind of looks like here. So as you can see, I have the beginning of that bracket that goes all the way to the rear. And I utilized nut certs, which are back here, and basically a bolt and washer all the way down. You'll have a gap before the next bracket will start, and basically all nut certs and bolts all the way down as well. So you will use the two original holes, which are these two right here, from the factory fenders and then the rest of them will basically be holes for the clips where you just have to do is increase the size of the actual hole to use the insert nut. Once you have the brackets mounted then you can actually install the last piece which is this one right here and essentially it would look something like this. Obviously, once you actually mount it, it'll be flushed out. And that's basically everything that you need to install this. It's not very difficult. I understand that sometimes it's just a little confusing with the pieces. Uh, please note that because this is a fairly large uh, steel plate, so there will be some flex due to shipping or anything like that. Don't be alarmed. You can always manipulate it a little bit if you had to bend. Or sometimes you might have to use one side uh, on one side or the other side because basically there's absolute, they're absolutely identical. Uh, you can use them for either side because both sides have the exact same identical finish. And that's basically it. So if you have any other questions, please hit us up on YouTube or on our Facebook and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you.